Here's another little nighttime video after that uh, horrible event that took place last night. Um, camera's not going to catch it all in the kind of detail that I want. But anyway, once again, we were out there anchored somewhere, not too far from here, but close enough to shore for three guys to. Uh, to swim over to the board boat board us with knives and essentially rob the boat and the first night uh, like immediately after it happened we ended up over on that wall there and we had to uh, we had to leave because it, it was it was too rough it was uh, marking up the sides of the boat and fraying the lines. In fact, one line already broke or parted. And then we went back out earlier, or, or yeah, earlier in the day yesterday just to get off that wall. And this time we anchored. Again, you can't see it, but it's out by an island there, far enough away from, uh, so that um, it would make it difficult for anyone to swim out there to try their luck with us again. So anyway, last night uh, I didn't get any sleep at all, obviously because of what happened and because we also had to continue doing watches. Um, so the last time you saw me, I was doing that video of the, uh, the watch plus the anchor watch. And then uh, Dave came up from his snooze and then took over the watch and I went down to uh, have a snooze myself. But by the time I woke up, this is where we were. And we are now rafted up to a bunch of other boats. So I think we are the sixth boat from the pier. Tomorrow morning, Quinte, one of the young lads that was helping us out and checking in on us after that after that event uh, he's leaving early in the morning and uh, and then we'll all get a little closer to the dock but anyhow feeling a lot better after what happened so even though we're we're tied up we're still maintaining the watches so I have the uh, 8 to 11 watch so Dave uh, the light from his uh, hat should be coming on soon to indicate that he's rousing himself to come on up I'll put the kettle on for him in a few minutes what time is it let me just have a quick look here 10:52. yeah so he'll be up in fact, he may very well already be up. Let's see. No, but it was an ordeal, so he's uh, a little more tired than usual. Plus, we've been, we've been keeping these round-the-clock watches as well, so none of us are really getting any decent sleep anymore. So I'm going to go put the kettle on so it's ready for him when he comes out for his watch. that much closer now to the dock so I can show you so we were we were anchored out there they came did what they did stole our dinghy and paddled away they couldn't use the motor because the gas tank wasn't attached to it so they paddled over here somewhere climbed up those rocks and disappeared into the night probably up in those hills from what uh, some of the other locals around here are telling us uh, that's where the bad boys, we call them, live. And anyway, so the dinghy drifted along shore and ended up in behind those boats there. And uh, one of the guys was kind enough to uh, grab it and tie it off and then watch it for us while we uh, gave statements, well, well, when, whilst Dave gave statements for a little over two hours in the police station. 
we got back and found out that they had found the dinghy. We had no idea till we got back. And boy, were we happy. Because without a dinghy, when you're traveling around on a yacht, you're kind of stuck, right? So anyway, this is what it looks like. And of course, this is Port Praia, the southern end of uh, the island of Santiago in the Cape Verde Islands. There's our dinghy, we got it back. And it's actually, uh, it feels pretty good, like I said, to be rafted up here again. A lot closer to shore.